D, wait for it. Wait for it. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And what a fantastic episode of Doom Patrol. Now, we only have one episode left. Um, and that's just because this was supposed to be a 10 episode season, but because of COVID, they didn't have enough time to film the last episode. So I'm very curious to see how they end this season. But before I get into this review uh, and breakdown of uh, episode uh, uh, eight, which is called Dad Patrol, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider uh, subscribing to my channel. Um, YouTube is doing their annual uh, bot purge and account old account cleanse, and there usually is a little bit of collateral damage. So I please ask you if you could please like, share, and subscribe, um, and I thank you in advance. So let's get to this episode. So Calder and, uh, takes Dorothy out of, uh, of town to a uh, fair. And then Kipling gets a warning about a cataclysmic event from uh, Bunbury and uh, contacts Calder. And that little, that little like guinea pig was, is, is super cute and speaks to, uh, again, the weirdness of this show. I mean, plus another weird thing was um, when Kipling was talking to uh, Calder, he was talking about like peanut butter cups. And I can't remember if we've seen that before, but I just love that and everything. I thought it was super funny and I really liked it a lot. So while Calder is uh, feeling sick, Dorothy has fun until she has a vision in which she runs away from the candle maker in the Yukon. And her mother just kept popping up at the fair and uh, giving her these red shoes or whatnot. And all this started with her becoming a woman um, and growing up and getting her period and everything. So, um, and I really, I kind of liked that a lot. It was, it was pretty cool. So moving over to Cliff, um, he makes breakfast for his daughter, Clara, and the two bond. And she's getting married and she wants more from Cliff and everything. Um, and she invites him to the wedding at the end. And I like when he's taking her around the mansion and then uh, he's like talking to her and then he's like, uh, uh, you want to see my room? And then he just like and just, it walks away. It's super funny and everything. And I loved when he started singing. Cliff really does. Like Robot Man has the best lines in this show. And I really feel like even though, again, his uh, and some, most of the characters, their storylines are very simplistic. Um, his is probably like it's just Robot Man's my favorite character in this show right now because he's so he's so funny and he's got the best lines and he's just it's just the best and, and Brendan Fraser does such a good job playing him. So Larry remembers um, a, a shared moment uh, with his deceased son Gary, um, which was nice. But I'm kind of over Negative Man's whole story um, arc this season. Um, you know he was bad. Dad, bad dad or whatnot, and uh, which we'll talk about that in just a second. And then, you know, he died. And then, you know, he's got all these regrets. And I'm all like, you know, like, sorry, but your and his family has, you know, disowned him, basically. And it's like, everyone in this show is a bad dad. Um, I mean, it's the bad parent show. I mean, Rita Farr's mom was a bad mom. Rita Farr's not a parent, but, uh, you know, her mom was mad. Uh, and, and then all the dads in the show are just bad dads. And I just go, like, what's going on? But anyway, so afterwards, after he has his whole vision, Jane takes him to Arkansas to retrieve an item slash stuffed bunny to prove that she is the right personality to be primary. Now, which, like I said in the, my last review, uh, I thought Miranda it was up to something because uh, uh, Scarlet Harlot's uh, station was shut down. But I like I knew something was going on with Miranda, and it and it was interesting to see how Jane gets out of the well after uh, to see what Jane is going to do after she gets out of the well because Miranda pushed her in it. Uh, she went to get the bunny out of the, the physical well in the real world, and then she we find out that Miranda faked being scared of being in the well, got the bunny and a letter, put it in the little thing, and then got out of the well and like ran away from home or whatnot. And it was very interesting. It'll be very interesting to see. First off, I want to know, is Miranda just trying to take over K slash Jane's body? Um, and what is K? I mean, and, and would K, can K let her Miranda have the, the primary forever and be the only personality? And will K go away or will K always be there? I'm, I'm very, that's the part that I'm most uh, curious about inside there. Um, then 
So Vic, he yeah, visits an FBI agent's uh, apartment who has been murdered. Um, and then he ends up confronting Ronnie because they find the little jelly from the last episode that she took. Um, and then he, you know, confronts Ronnie about it, uh, who reacts aggressively and then leaves and everything after she, like, punches him a bunch of time. And I loved in these scenes, I loved how, A, they mentioned the Justice League. And, of course, of course we knew in the comic books that Ronnie, because, because the comic books, that Ronnie was going to be a bad guy. And I'm a little more interested in this storyline but man, did they take forever to get there. Like, I'm, I'm a little bit more interested than I have been this whole season. But we only got one episode left, and I don't think they're going to really touch on it because we've really got to focus on Dorothy and her storyline. Um, so, yeah. So, Rita, she arrives at the mansion and tries to get Vic's help um, with her rehearsal for the role as the superhero, the beekeeper, uh, in the, her theater production. But he, like I said, he receives a, he tries to get a, get a call uh, to Ronnie and, and, and he leaves. But I loved uh, when Vic uh, was like, um, he was like, oh, you should get a plane and call it the Stinger and everything, mocking her and everything. And then I also liked the Avengers style trailer for uh, Beekeeper and Borg. I, I also liked, you know, we had the Stone and Steel before, which was kind of a, a, a takeoff of, um, Oh gosh, what's the name of that show? I can't remember off the top of my head. And then this one was a takeoff of the Avengers. Um, not the Avengers, Marvel's Avengers, but that that uh, old like British spy show, the Avengers. So all of this, Kipling arrives at the fair and tells Calder that Dorothy has has been has to be taken away because she is too powerful. But the candle maker's powers begin to manifest, and he tells her to release him. And that's just like everything's melting and everything and then people are all running around and everything and uh, and she's all like, and he's like, it's time and everything. And, and me, I go, uh, okay, let's, let's do this. Because I mean, um, yeah, I'm just very interested to see how they wrap it up considering the fact that, like I said, they only had, they didn't get to film that last episode, the 10th episode. They only got to film nine. So tell me, what did you guys think about this episode? Did you like this episode? Did you not like this episode? What was your favorite part? I have to say, my favorite, my personally, my favorite part in this this episode was definitely all the Jane stuff. Only because I'm interested. I mean, the Cliff stuff is very close second because whenever Cliff is on screen, I usually am smiling or I'm laughing because he is just the best. But the Jane stuff is very interesting because. Like Jane said in there, she's like, I don't know how all this stuff works. And I don't really think anybody knows how it works. I mean, I don't know how it works. I mean, now that those other personalities are in the well, can they come out of the well? Because Miranda jumped in the well before, uh, but those other personalities, are they dead forever? It's very, It'll just be very interesting to see what happens there. And it, But they killed this Lucy, Lucy Fu and Flaming uh, Kate, so how many, so we only have one protector left, I think, which is Hammerhead. Oh, well, we do have Silver Tongue. She, I think she's a protector too. Yeah, so I definitely, all the Jane stuff I'm very interested in and seeing what Miranda does and everything. So again, tell me what you guys thought about this episode, what you didn't like, what you liked, all that good stuff. Um, I just wanna say that if you like my videos and you like my content, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell so you get all my uh, videos when they come up. Drop a comment in that comment section because it feels the algorithm and I will see you guys on the next Doom Patrol episode. You guys have a good day. <laughs> Bye.